hey you guys so real quickly I just want to talk about something right now I'm just going to bring up this example because it's fresh kind of fresh off the presses but this is not the the basis of my conversation I'm just going to use this as an example so I just got finished watching Oprah I think she was on it today I just watched a clip uh, on the internet you know you just google it about how um, Oprah talks about Gail being threatened okay <clears throat> And she talked about um, how Gail has to have security. Thank goodness she has the resources to do those things. How Gail has to have security because she has a lot of threats coming in. You know, death threats. So she has to walk around with security. So now, when I saw that, I just said, you know what? That's enough. And it's not, when I say that's enough, I'm not talking about protecting Gail. Gail has a lot of protection around her, okay? I'm talking about these guys. They, uh, before Gail did that interview with Lisa Leslie, it was already other white people jumping on Kobe's legacy. But he, Snoop Dogg never sent his goons after these other white people. But as soon as a black woman do something that he disagrees with, he, he goes sending his male goons. I, I, and like I said, this is not about Gail. I'm using it as an example because it's new. But what's going on with Gail... Is, is, is what's been happening to black women and black girls in this community and I'm not going to be heavy on defending black women because there's a whole lot of black women that, 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 that see that Gail's life is three being threatened by a bunch of males a bunch of males are attacking her probably some women too but I'm guessing it's probably more males you know Snoop is a part of a gang um gang culture I think the part of the Crips in Los Angeles okay he's probably um sent a lot of people after this woman and I don't like the cowardice in these doggone black males probably some black women too but I, I just I'm willing to bet a lot about 99% of them are black males I don't know I, I, I had enough of the cowardice in these black males I had enough of the cowardice and I'm going to get to the women too because I already made an audio about how the towers need to fall on these black women who are gatekeepers of this uh, this dysfunction. I already made an audio on how it's time for their towers to fall because actually they are the ones that give these black males life. Okay, we can say all, all day long how the black, the black males need to be destroyed and the black males, need, but as long as you got those gatekeeper black women around, you will always have those black males because those women, for some reason, they need these kind of dysfunctional males to stay around. So as long as those black keeper black, the, excuse me, those gatekeeper black women keep their butts around, then you're always going to have these kind of black males. Let me get back on the black males for a second. That's threatening Gail, but not just the ones that's threatening Gail. Just these black males that's always love to viciously attack black women and girls. They've been doing it for a very long time. They love to put their hands on. They love to abuse. They love to kill black women and black girls. Okay. Now that's it. You know. Uh, let me finish this, and I'm gonna go back. Um, they're they're done. They are done. Okay. Things are being unleashed on them. No more of this mess. No more of this mess. No more of their cowardice. They don't want to stand up. It was white people who was going in on Kobe before um, <coughs> Gail did this interview. Okay, and it's unfortunate how Gail, according to her, she talked about a lot of different subjects um, on that particular episode or whatever. But it seems like the way it was edited, they wanted to do it in a way to cause some kind of backlash. Now, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I don't know a jester's life. Gail King is a jester. Oprah is a jester. I don't know their life, and that's the reason why I say I can't, I, I, I can't fully defend um, a jester when I don't, I don't understand their world. I do not understand the world of Gay, Gail King and Oprah. So all of this stuff that's going on with Gail King, I'm not going to get heavily into it. But I will say it's, it's definitely what has been happening to black women and black girls for a long time. It's just so happened that Gail is able to get some kind of protection around her. But it's, but the unfortunate thing is, the, what Gail is going through is a, is, is basically what black women and black girls go through their whole life. And unfortunately, they do not have the protection that Gail King has. So I'm not focusing on Gail King because she got more than I do. And I'm not going to focus on anybody doing better than me. 
okay and another thing is that she is a jester and I do not understand that world they live in a different world than I do I don't know the, the ins and outs of this this the media and all of that stuff and what CBS does you know so I, I, I I'm not deep into that world to really have a whole lot to say about that interview and how things popped off on social media because but I, I, I will say that what is happening is just and it's just showing what has been going on amongst black people for a long time but at this time these cowardly men have to go they have to go okay they have to go but the problem but the thing is is that they can't go without these women that keep trying to protect them it's, uh, whatever whether they have a mental illness we know they have mental illness but the, enough is enough Okay, we, the black men that got in there and um, threatened Gail King, they probably have mental illness too. People who are racist that want to constantly look down on you as if they, if they crap don't stink, they may have mental illness too. So I'm not going to, um, I, I can't, you know, get into the whole mental illness thing. I realize they do have mental illness, but they're dangerous. See, when people become a danger, they just have to be removed. And black people have become a danger to other black people. Okay. And what Gail is going through, the good thing that she is able to have money for security and able to um, have the right people around her to protect her. But the average black women ain't got that. And it's a lot of black women that go through that same thing with these males and don't have the level of protection that Gail has. Okay. So at this point, and it's going to be super. At this point, it's going to it's going to be supernatural. But these these males, these cowards, these cowards that did not. Okay, why? What? Where was this level of um, hatred when white media was um, trying to go uh, talk about Kobe and his rape? Where where was the uh, where was the um, outrage then from these males? Okay, I'm not interested in the answer either. Okay, I don't care. No, there was no outrage. They they never get outrage when white people are doing this. So there was no outrage, and I'm not even interested in focusing on the fact that he, uh, the black male is conquered. If that's what people want to say, he's conquered by the white man. I'm not. I'm not interested in even thinking about that. I'm interested in these guys disappearing. I'm interested in them disappearing. I don't care if they're conquered. I don't care if they're weak. I don't care if they effeminate. I don't care. I don't care that black women, a lot of them have mental illness. I no longer care about the reasons anymore. They just need to be removed because it is they're too dangerous at this point. They're dangerous. And black women, because they are so protective over Kobe, Kobe can can hear. And I'm talking about these black women celebrities now. I, I ain't talking about, you know, other black women. I have seen other black women on YouTube that try to um, say a couple of things, but it's very few. Okay. But the, this black, the, you know, I have very few. These black women celebrities don't speak up for other black women who are being viciously attacked by black men. These black women, but I already talked about that too. They're not speaking up. These black women celebrities know that Gail has got a lot of death threats. And, um... You know, uh, nothing, nothing at all. You don't hear these black women celebrities speaking up. The only thing you heard is Ari Lennox go in on Gail. Okay, they don't care that Snoop got his doggone gang members and other people to go after Gail King. Okay, and they have a hatred. These black males have a hatred for black women in power. So if they could kill that woman, they would kill her. They just can't get to her. But they have a hatred for black women in power. And I'm going to say this. This is just what I kind of, you know, well, I don't want to see. I don't want to open up this conversation. But I just get the feeling that there was a time Gail King and Oprah pandered to the black man. But I, I, I definitely see that that is all over with now. And it's not just because it was playing out in media. I, I'm getting the feeling that um, Oprah has moved away from... Um, her connection to a lot of these black men um okay so and i don't know what that's all about like i say i try not to get into the life of a jester i just don't know their world okay so i don't I, I try not to have too many comments about people when i don't know i don't know what it's like to be them i have no idea what it's like to be oprah and what she deals with day to day so i can't have a whole lot to say about her but um <clears throat> that is it and um, I've already talked about how a lot of these black women have to go. They just have to go. I don't care if they have mental illness. I don't care if they were programmed. I don't care anymore. 
I don't care. I don't care if the black male is conquered by the white man. I don't care if the black male is afraid of the white man. I don't care about um, all of this name calling. I don't care if they're mammies. I don't care. I don't care about all of the name calling. I don't care about all of the reasons why. I don't care if the black man is conquered. I don't care about, um, you know, tearing people down in that manner. I, I, only thing I care about is these people um, being removed. That's the only thing I care about is that they need to be removed. I don't need to call them any other names. I don't need to talk about the problems that they have. I don't have, I don't have to think about that. Only thing that we know is that they need to remove a group of punk males. Cause I'm not just using this as an example because it's new. A group of punk males got their butt to, up to, I don't know if they were the inbox to Gail King or whether they sending things to her address or what's happening, but she cannot freely roam around like she used to. But like I said, she has more protection than the average black woman that goes through that same thing and, and, and it, it doesn't go as well. Okay, so I don't know who Oprah knows and I don't know who Gail knows and it's Susan Rice and other people, but they need to um, not take it easy on these black males. They're cowards and I'm sick of them breathing. Okay, um, this video probably won't stay up long, but I'm sick of I'm sick of them breathing. And I'm also even more sick of black women who protect them and we keep saying, oh, they're mentally ill. I don't care. I don't care that they're mentally ill. These black women, for some reason, get off on seeing other black women suffer, and I don't care about their mental illness anymore. I don't care. If they can't get the help they need, if they can't do any work, they need to be removed too. I don't care. You know, people who blow up schools and shoot up movie theaters also have a mental illness. Okay? These women that protect these men, they need to be removed. And I said they need to be removed first. And I, I feel like they should be devoured by the men they protect. They should. But um, I don't know how long this will stay up. Because this is one of those audios that's, you know, not going to go over so well. But anyway, so, you know, I guess I'll let it up for, leave it up for a few minutes. But yeah, no, it's time for them to, it's time for them to stop breathing. I'm going to have to just be blunt and say it. It's time for them to stop breathing. A bunch of males got they behinds, and they they been doing this. They they gang rape little girls and black women and black men, but black women love to protect. They love to protect this, and so I, I think it's time to just to end it. It's time for um, and it's going to be bad. So I'll say to people, you know, be prepared to um, just be prepared. And when I say prepared, I'm talking about working on your inner self and just getting to the where you need to be, doing what you need to do, concentrating on yourself and your life. Um, no longer caring about what black women do anymore. No longer caring about what black men do anymore because this is done. It's it's done. Um, it's time for them to just go. <laughs> It's time for them to go. Okay, these are punks. And black women, a lot of them, not all, a lot of them. You know, obviously it's not all. Because I, it's, it's, it's people, it, there are some that are speaking out against this. But it's not enough. It's not enough. These punk males got their butt to attack an older woman. They did this with C. Dolores Tucker, too, when she waged war against a gangster rap because she didn't like the way this, the lyrics were disrespecting women. Um, that, that was another elderly woman. She died in her 90s. She died, I think she died, might have died in the 2000s. And she died in her 90s. And black males still disrespected that woman in her 90s. I'm just, I'm, I'm really sick of them being around. But see, I'm not around those, I'm not around these guys anyway. So I'm really tired of them for the new black girls that's trying to come up. It's not really for myself. Um, because I don't I can tune out of media. I don't watch TV and I don't really live around a lot of them. You know, I see them every once in a while. But so they don't I'm not really um annoyed with them for myself, but I'm annoyed because of the little children and specifically the little black girls that have to come up under this and um you still have these energies. Um, and they, they, they're going to be reared to accept it, okay? They're going to be reared that they're supposed to take it, you know? So anyway, that's all I got to say. Um, and you guys can let me know what you think.